Oh, well, we got 16 days straight of coverage, my friends. Be here live on Ustream, the CPA Self ONT Ustream channel. We're in for a great day. We got three matches today. After this will be the B side finals. Be back in a minute, everybody. Hey, Frosty Balls, yeah, we're ass shooters, Snooker and Sports Club. Hey, that's all there, uh, it's okay, KZ fan. <laughs> hey, the day just started, Jason. Good morning, my friend, or good afternoon. Welcome back. Hey, you never know.
Brittany Bryant. Denise Belanger, A-side finals. Hit that share button, everybody. Let them know what you're watching. This is the Canadian Q Sports Championships live from Shooter Snooker and Sports Club in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm your host, Rod Babin. Welcome back, everybody. Yesterday was a great day, and we're in for more amazing pool today. Twelve fifty nine. No problem. <laughs> hey, what's going on, pool man? Uh, late night was one of them. I was here yesterday from nine a.m. till well, one of my teams finished. I'm playing in a CPA regional uh, championships tournament here at the same time, so I think it was maybe midnight that I got out of here. And then I had to be back here. It was about 10 a.m. again today. The professional, that's up for you guys to decide. All right, guys, easy in the chat there. The day just started. We're all here to have a good time, buddy. Hey, thanks a lot there, Pool Scene. I appreciate it, my friend. Ah, it's all right there, Jason. Hey, I got a strict ban button, so... Just keep it friendly. Hit that share button. We get going shortly, everybody.
When you down here, Jason? Sunday? Friday. Well, can't wait to see you down here, buddy. No, I believe uh, Cooper is going to be in tomorrow. Yeah, the Whitey is just confirmed. Cooper will be here. The pool scene. What's going on, my buddy? for the break. This is a race to nine, A-side finals. Finals is a race to 11. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, I will. I'm hoping. Well, they got a close leg there. That's John White checking a leg. Don't they have an app for that? Yeah, it's tough. I'm not sure. They're, they're, they probably have something that they can use. Yeah, it did look like the, uh, the six was a little closer there. Give me one second, everybody. Hey, Hal Jordan. What's up, buddy? Yes, this is live. We are live from Shooter Snooker and Sports Club. This is alternate break. Nine ball, race to nine. Women's A-side finals. Yes, they are using a magic rack in every event. Two ball has to be racked at the back. For the ten ball, the two and the three are going to be racked on the wings. Hey, and I like it. It speeds up the matches. Especially on some tables, it gets so hard to rack. There's Denise, plays a cut break. Wing ball disappears. Ends up having a shot on the one. Doesn't look like there's much trouble here. She has an option of how she wants to play the one to get back onto the three ball.
Yes, all events are uh, alternate break there, poker pool. V. That's not a good way to start. And these matches are being all recorded live. So if you missed any of the matches, jump on and you can watch them all. All right, I'm just, just draw this back. She can even play top score round two. Plays nice on the three. I believe it's just uh, cue ball fouls only there, pool man. A side finals. That's the B side finals is there. The loser of this will play the winner of this match. And then whoever wins that will face whoever wins this in the finals. So it's double knockout. Yeah. Tonight, 7 o'clock. No, she just wants to put a little hair of right hand spin on this ball. Come out two rails for the six down into the bottom left. She lies perfect on it. She can draw straight back or use the long rail to play the seven into the right side. Oops, so let's go straight back. Perfect shot. Shot on the seven. Good shot on the eight. Doesn't want to get frozen on that rail, though. Ah, she's okay. Tay, good afternoon, Bacon. What's going on, buddy? And that's the first frame. Pretty Bryant takes a one nothing lead. We got a packed house here at Shooters. We got the CPA regional tournaments going on at the same time. The Canadians, wall-to-wall -wall fans, everyone's watching. There's not a seat in the house. Um, pool man, I believe someone said if you download Google Chrome, there's uh, an ad blocker or something like that. Go to settings, privacy, ad blocker. That's, I'm sure uh, all these great guys that are on the chat will help you out. Okay, get ready. Rack number two. Brittany to break. Brittany leading. one nothing. If there's one part of the game I'd like to see Brittany work on, that is her break. I've been talking to her uh, last few days. She's trying to play a little bit more of a controlled break today, she was telling me. The only thing is just what happens there is kind of you lose the one ball if it doesn't go into the side by playing that cut break. And that's the one thing I don't like about the magic rack. Yep, and it is, uh, I confirmed it, that they are still dating. I was talking to Mike this morning. He should be on the stream watching, so I'll give him a shout-out. Charlie Hill, Billy Bryant's been watching the stream. Got to give my buddy him a shout-out. Uh, great combo. Got a shot on the one. Still going to be tricky to play the three, so I think you're going to be seeing a safety happen in here. Play the cue ball, two rails. Or play the one ball, sorry, two rails. Back up to the top table. And right where she's pointing is where she wants to put Whitey. Just want to play with bottom left. Just a little too hard, but that might be okay. If it gets behind the six, or marries the six... So it looks like the 1-6 combo is lined right in. Which is okay, because I think she can play it. Slide the cue ball along the long rail. 
maybe even two rails to play the one back in the side on the right side to come back down for the three into the bottom right. Why not? I don't know if that cue ball is going to scratch. Yep. Brittany, ball in hand. Naomi's been playing really strong too. Uh, Naomi is in the B-side finals playing Joan Ashton. The winner of that will play the loser of this match. Yeah, that's right, Jason. The combo, I did think she was uh, going to play the combo. Bacon, yeah, Naomi's been breaking like a machine. Good shot. She has shape onto the three. Just play this pocket weight. Can even play it with a bit of left to hold it so it checks off the rail and straightens out so you can play the five into the bottom left. That's what she did. Good shot. Just want to come two rails back for the six into the top right. Oh, she choose to go one rail. That's a uh, player's preference shot. And I guess with all this brand new Simonis, 860 HR, always take the easier path. Yeah, it is true, but... Uh, you know, Denise has been playing some great pool this uh, yesterday. And she's got heart. She's a fighter. Nice shot. Brittany takes rack number two. Going into rack number three, Naomi to break, uh, Denise to break. Brittany leading two frames to none. This is race to nine. The finals is a race to 11. Yeah, at least it's not uh, stormy in uh, Toronto today. They're calling for a bit of rain in the afternoon, but yesterday was brutal. Uh, Union Station in downtown Toronto was flooded. Uh, we were losing the stream for most of the morning. Uh, but everything is going good. <laughs> hey, there you go, pool man. Unfortunately, we're just using uh, their free stream. We haven't paid for like the ads to block in that, uh, which is something we are gonna, we're gonna do. No, Monique is not here. Unless she's coming down for another event, I am not sure. I haven't really seen a players list uh, posted anywhere, but I'll find that out for you, JP. Oh, she's got the one into the top right. Two ball does pass the six into the bottom left. Ooh, that's twice That's twice she's missed out one ball in that top right pocket. I'm starting to wonder if her shoulder is bothering her today. I know she was upset a bit last night that her uh, shoulder was starting to get sore. Nice shot. Good shot. Just gonna come off the long rail, back out for the four into the top left, uh, top right. We, she hit that bad. All right, 
See if Denise can come down here, get into stroke, try to get a rack back. It's a good shot. She used the whole pocket. Doesn't want to get too close. The five does pass into the bottom left. It's a little tricky. She kind of has to throw it off that long rail to get back down. She might even decide to go two rails to play the five into the bottom left. V, I don't know what that was. Come on, girl. Bear down. Hey, I'm commentating for you, JP. I'm your host for these 16 days. It's Rod Bavin. She's going to go long rail back down for the eight into the bottom left. Just come back out. Good shot. Overshot it just a little bit, but that's okay. It's a spot shot. It's almost like playing the black and snooker. That's a good shot. Brittany. Climbs out to a 3 nothing lead. Yeah, it's packed in here right now, JP. They got the uh, CPA tournament going on at the same time. I believe there's about 20-something teams involved. Try to get an update on the B-side uh, final match for you. Someone is currently up 2 nothing. Yeah, they're doing their uh, regional championships at the same time there, JP. Uh, for the next three weekends. So it's going to be a packed house. There's Brittany with that control break. Trying to do the cut break to play the one into the side. It's an ugly rack. The one does pass into the bottom and to the top left. The three basically doesn't go anywhere at the moment, so I can see her playing a safety on the two. What I'd like to do is bring that two back down towards the bottom of the pack and leave the cue ball up to the top rail. And she hung it. Oh, so what she's been practicing all day there, Cosmo. And yeah, the CPA nine ball format is really good. Well, basically what she was trying to do today is that it was weird yesterday how the wing ball wasn't really, it wasn't going where it was supposed to, do, uh, supposed to go. So she's starting to play the cut break knowing that if it wasn't going, the one ball was always traveling to the left or to the right top pocket. Yeah, you're right there, Cosmo. I think she's just trying to find her spot. I think she's going to be playing safe here, maybe, because there's not much options to do after this. Oh, she did. Nice shot. Trying to take a look to see if the five passes up to the top left. It does pass. She just wants to draw it back to be able to play the six into the right side. I 
It's tough to see from my angle how much he has. I think she might be able to run into the eight, use that as a holding ball. Good shot. Great shot by Brittany. Play with bottoms, draw up one rail for the eight in the side. Shot looks like Brittany's gonna go up four nothing. It's four nothing. Brittany takes rack number four. Rack five. Denise to break. Brittany Bryant leading four nothing. I believe uh, Eric is playing all events. Um, I can confirm that Kirk Stevens is going to be playing in the open snooker. And I also heard that uh, Jason Clatt is going to be coming down. Eric Olofsson will be here, yes. And I believe he will be playing in every event. Yeah, Eric's a great guy. He's been playing well lately. He's done uh, good in the 404 events. I believe he won one of the finals. He might have won the other one at uh, Big Wigs in Newmarket, too. I'm not sure. So she's going to play the safety. Go behind the nine or the eight. No, play the shot. That's good. That John Moore is here. Alex Peggy Lyons in the house. Mario Mora will be playing. Harry Shigaris is going to be playing. She hooked herself on the deuce. Well, she can kick to the left rail, try to kick the two into the bottom right. She can also maybe try to kick from the right rail try to get the 2 out, maybe bring the cue ball back down table to try to get it behind the nine, but still that's tough too. Um, I will find out if... Uh, I'm not sure, Cosmo, if you mean Chris Woods or not, but I think he will be playing... Uh, I believe he's playing a snooker. I'm sure he's going to be playing a couple other events too. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, Chris Lefty. She's going left rail. Good hit. Um, where's uh? Sorry about that. Yeah, I think you're going to be right there, Bacon. It's going to be 5 nothing. 
Um, I haven't seen Tyler Eady in a while, man. Uh, I don't know. I think, yeah, Jason, I think you are right. I think he stopped. He's gone to school. Brittany takes a 5 nothing lead. Because I don't believe Tyler was here last year. I know he was here the year before. Uh, I believe he won the 10 ball against Elaine Martel. Um, that's when he got a spot for the border battle when they had it in Trenton. I'm sure if the pool scene is out here, uh, if he's still on the stream, he can uh, verify some of that info. All right, rack number six. Brittany to break. Denise leading, or Brittany leading five frames to nothing. Hit that share button, everybody. Let's get those numbers up. We got three matches today, one at one, one at four, and one at 11. She made the four ball off to break. She does have the one in the side. She, I think she has a good enough angle she can get by to be able to play the two into the bottom left. Nice shot. Great shot by Britt. That's that's the shot of the rack right there. She even has that look on her face like, wow. Now I'm going to give you an update on table two. We've got Joan Ashton and Naomi Williams. B-side semifinals. Joan just made the nine ball, and we are locked up at two. Naomi and Joan are knocked up at two. Yeah, I, I haven't even heard if Edwin's coming down either. Um, I know there's a few of the guys out west for the snooker that are coming down, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's here. Hey, you're Canadian bacon, buddy. Don't worry about it. In my chat room on my stream, I'll let you. You'll be known as Canadian bacon. by Britt. She's going to roll this in, play the 8 into the left side or right side pocket. Feels actually funny, Jason. Everyone who was just cheering is actually on my pool team that I'm playing for today for the CPA. I think uh, I won my first match for our team. Uh, it was 5-1. And I believe we're hill-hill now in the second match. That's a good shot by Brett. <coughs> Great shot by Brittany. Takes a 6 nothing lead. No, I had a little problem with the scores there. Give me one second, everybody. Stupid computers.
There we go. All right, looks like they're going to be looks like they're going to be taking a break. I'm going to switch the camera over to the other match. Give you guys some uh, bonus coverage there. Everything is. Okay, I'm going to change the camera for a bit, give you guys a bit of bonus coverage until they uh, come back from the break, but I will pull right away as soon as Denise and Brittany come back. This is bonus coverage. Joanne and Naomi. This is the B side finals, uh, B side semifinals. Joanne takes a three nothing lead, uh, three two lead. Sorry. Yeah, Joan is. Uh, Joan's a great player. She's. Yesterday I was talking to her after her matches, and she was really disgusted with the way she was playing. No, she hasn't been playing that much lately. This is Naomi Williams. And Joan Ashton. Or Joanne Ashton. There's bonus coverage. Sorry about not being able to see that bottom right pocket, guys, but JP knows where I'm sitting. It's kind of a tough spot to get that camera angle down to pick up that table. But hey, as long as there's action going on, guys, I'm going to be streaming it for you. I'll do that for you, Jason. No problem, buddy. I'll wait until she's done shooting, though. <laughs> Anytime, my friend. This is Joanne at the table. Just going to play the safety, try to get that cue ball back behind the six. Oh, it's got to bounce. All right, everybody, I think we're going to be starting back up. I'm going to change that camera angle and get back onto our main match. Yeah, I wish I could have two cameras going on there, Cosmo. I'd be showing every match. If I had ten cameras, I'd show all ten matches. Ah, uh, the score in the Naomi and Jones match. Jonah is up three to two at the moment. Uh, 
I'll hold. I I hold you on to it, Jyoti. Yeah, I saw that once there, that uh, the Euro Tour had uh, like eight camera lenses or something like that. Hey, what some of these people are doing with the stream nowadays is just great. Oh, Naomi's down right now there, Poke Pull. So race to nine on the A side and B side. This is rack number seven. Brittany, uh, Naomi, uh, Denise Belanger to break. <laughs> Brittany lead in six nothing. <laughs> That's what happens. I'm looking at one t table, this table. It's a good break. It's going to have a shot at the one, but the cue ball is going to lay on that rail. This is a tester. She made the three off the break. The two is on the left side of the table. She can cut this in the side. The only problem is, is you got to try to negotiate getting around the nine, the six, and the eight. And especially with the cue ball being so close to that rail, I think it's just an up and down shot. Play it with a hair of left and go up and down. That's okay. That's a good leave. I can see Brittany playing a safety here. Hey, I hear John Nemora's voice. He's in the house. Is it going to drop? No. Well, Naomi has uh, Brittany. Why can't I get their names right today? Denise. <laughs> has a shot at the one. It's a good shot. This is an important rack. She doesn't want to get down 7 nothing. You don't really want to be down 6 nothing either. But you need to get you need to get a a rack in here. John, can you wrap a shot? Someone's calling him. No, not in the side. Good shot. From my angle, I'm not sure if the four or five goes. She's taking a look at it now. All right, everybody here. I'm going to put you in the commentator booth. What would you guys do here? Do you thin hit the four and try to leave the five or leave the cue ball come off one rail and freeze it behind the five? Oh, she went for it. And I don't think the eight got in the way. I think she can see the full ball of the four. Good call there, Jason. When I see you, I'll get you a mint. Oh, she went for the carom. Nice try. No problem, buddy. I got your back, Jason.
good shot. Oh, wow. That's twice. Her last two shots have both went towards that side pocket. Yeah, it does. Because now you're afraid to put anything towards that side of the table because you think the cue ball is going to go right in there. This is a tester. This is a nerve rack. Oh, just a little bit of juice. She wants to spin at three rails. She wanted to get back out to be able to play the six into the bottom left. Just not hitting it good. She does have a good safety here. She can play the bank into the top left. She can also bank the six towards the top left. Try to leave the cue ball where the nine is. Okay, I think she's going to thin hit the six, try to bring it to the middle of the table, bring the cue ball back two rails, back up to the top. This is going to roll out. Nah, I rolled out. Brittany sees a full ball. She can just play this with a hair of right, come up one rail for the seven into the bottom right. Hey, Jason, I might have to ban you for that comment, man. I'm a hockey fan myself, but we're here watching the Canadians, buddy. There's no Canadian teams even left. I know New Jersey has a lot of Canadian players. Okay, well, I've just been told I'm wrong. LA has more Canadians than, uh, which makes sense. They like to live there in the winter, right? Great shot. Wow. Okay, it's 14 to 6. Yeah, you're right, Jason. Gotta be, but this is our national championship, buddy, and you're coming down to play it. So, shout out to the Toronto Marlies. Yeah. And that's for Kathy Boudreau. Well, she's got a little bit of a tester here. She's gonna cut it and try to run the cue ball around three rails back. She might even go four rails. Oh, she tried to go back. What a cut. From my angle, I couldn't tell that she could just cut it and go back and forth long rails. What a shot. And you're right, Bacon. I was going to mention that. You know, I should have put something down on the Celtics. My apologies, my friend. If you're ever in Toronto, I will get you a mint too. And a Coke. All right, rack number eight. Brittany Bryant leads seven nothing. Brittany to break. Well, the problem is with uh, Boston. I don't think in the playoffs they've won two in a row, or they've won more than two in a row. I think they've won two in a row and have lost. Yeah, I hope they do, man. Same as San Antonio. That would be good to see. San Antonio and Boston. Anyone but Miami. I Yeah, I didn't really get to see it, but uh, I took a glance at the score when I was leaving and Boston was up. I'm like, oh, no. Bacon's going to let me have it tomorrow. Any other picks, buddy? Yeah, I got Miami to take it all, too, man. I got Miami and Detroit. And there's the cut break. One in the side. That's what she's been playing. And she lies perfect on the two. Oh. 
Rondo's a machine, man. This guy's going to make history in the NBA playoffs for triple doubles. Hey, that's right. That's it, Bacon. Give us some numbers, man, from 1 to 49. I'm sure Jason will send you a percentage. No worries, sir. Oh, shit, that bad. Well, this is the A side finals. Brittany Bryant currently leading Naomi Williams, 7 0. This is a race to nine. Okay, yeah. You get them a pack of mints, those, right? Not just one mint. Hey, there you go, everybody. Bacon has just given us the 649 numbers for tonight. It's 2, 12, 18, 34, 38, and 44. We are knotted up at 3. Hey, how are you, Marcy? They're tied at three. Just got a tough cue in now to be able to play the five up into the top. I'm doing great there, Marcy. I won my first match this morning for our uh, CPA regional match. Uh, we, our team is still on the A side. I, I feel bad for the guy. I kind of didn't really give him a chance. But hey, that's how it goes. Um, I don't know what happened in the other match, so I'll figure that out. But yeah, no, it's going good. I'm nice and fresh. Ready for another day of great pool. And yes, Marcy, there will be bonus coverage. Oh no. Ah, she's okay. Came off that bottom rail really weird. It's okay. Just gonna play it with a little bit of bottom. Just gonna draw the eight into the bottom right pocket, play the nine in the same pocket. That's a great shot. Brittany is going to be on the hill. And Brittany Bryant's on the hill. You're leading. Eight nothing. Yeah, BB's running the clinic. She got here early this morning. She got here early this morning. She was banging balls. She's working on her break. This is rack number nine. Denise to break. Trailing Brittany Bryant. Eight nothing. We are live on Ustream. CPA South ONT channel. This is your 2012 Canadian Q Sport Championships live from Shooter Snooker and Sports Club. Nice break. It's going to get a good shot on the one. The two sitting pretty, three sitting pretty. There isn't much trouble here. You just got to roll the one into the top right, come long rail, play the two back down to the bottom left. If that is the two, it could be the four. Okay, she's playing shape for the three. She hasn't liked anything in the right side all day. As you've seen earlier in the first match and the second match, she had a dead straight one into the top right and rattled it. No, she had a three into the bottom right and rattled it. And she's been telling me that the cue ball's been skidding a lot. Oh, you're right there, Jason. 
She will play well in the men's. Brittany's on fire. I think she's going to finish this rack off. Come out one rail. That's perfect. She's just going to draw it back off the long rail. She's just checking to see if she can get by the nine. She might even want to go two. Looks like she's going to go behind the nine. Oh, she played to bump the nine. I don't really like that shot. Yeah, she is there, buddy. Oh, and that's a perfect shot. Wow. Hey, she's playing almost perfect pool today, folks. Brittany is going to... No, Brittany booked her spot in the finals. 9-0. All right, everybody. I'm going to get you some bonus coverage. Give me one second. Hey, which corner do you want there, Jason? <laughs> you want the upper corner instead? Hold on, you know what? Let me work on this camera view. Give me a sec, guys. How's that, guys? I'm trying my best, man. I got a mint. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. I'll take it from you. The junior mint. Uh, it is 4-3. Alright, it is 4-3. I'm not sure for who. winning. Joanne's up 4-3. Okay. Did you win at Trick Vegas? Yeah. 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 Y
I'm just going to step out for about five minutes there, guys. I believe it's 5-4 Joan now. I'm sure I'll get yelled at if it was the wrong score. I'll be back in a second, everybody.
sorry for the noise there, guys. Just trying to, uh, let me update this score here. I believe it's 5-4 now. This is bonus coverage. Hey, Cooper, what's going on, buddy? Brittany Bryant defeated Denise Belanger, 9-0. There was a goose egg, first one of the tournament. Sorry, I can't get that bottom corner, guys. This is as best as I can do it. The winner of this will play Denise Belanger in the B-side finals. Actually, you're right, Cooper. Sorry about that, buddy. I was looking at my sheet from the stream matches. I stand corrected. It is 5-4. 5-4 for Joan. Uh, Joanne, sorry. No, we're knotted up at five. He'll be here tomorrow. Hey, I got your back there, Cooper. I'll run the show, kid. Hit that share button, everybody. Our next match is scheduled for 4 o'clock. Oh, this is great, man. I love the magic rack. I like the fact that it's not a rack your own, so that way you can't pattern rack. But it speeds everything up. And some of us know what it's like to be racking at shooters, eh, Coop? Yeah, I appreciate it, Coop, man. Thanks for the opportunity to do this, guys. I look forward to sitting in this little cubby chair for 16 days straight. If you're in the Toronto area, come on down, guys. We're located at Victoria Park in Lawrence, Scarborough, Victoria Terrace Plaza, on the northwest corner by the Good Life Fitness. Well, you probably could. I'm sure everyone can. I just like the fact that the magic rack is being used. It, it speeds everything up. I know watching some tournaments, man, you're watching guys rack for like five, 10 minutes. It's brutal.
Hey, thanks a lot there, Coop. I'll see you soon, buddy. All right, find those pass. Looks like Naomi might take this rack, go up 6-5. Good shot, comes out two rails, plays the nine into the bottom left. Naomi's going to take a 6-5 lead. This is B-side semis. It's not a bad angle. Just can't. I know if I could probably lower it. And the finals is a race to 11. Oh, it's the one at the top of the table. I try to bring the. She might even want to go for the bank. I like maybe playing a hook with the cue ball behind the seven. Should I to go around the other way? Yeah, go the other way. This is a. Um, the finals, I'm not sure. I think it's just a double knockout. I don't believe the finals is a true double. She plays safe on the deuce. She can go two rail hit on this. She can even go one rail. One rail, you just got to put a lot of left. Nice shot. It's going to get behind the seven. It's tough from my angle to see if she can see any paint. I'm not sure if she can play rail first. Yeah. Oh, she it looked like she hit it full. That's not ball. That is not ball. That's not bad. Leaves her over the nine. It's tough queuing. Um, I think Coop might have left. I'm not sure. It was 350 for this one. I'm not, I believe the amateur men's was 175. And I'm not sure of the rest of the events, but uh, as soon as I see uh, John White, I'll get that information for you, Poker Pool. No problem.
problem. I wrote it down in my sheet, my friend. That's, that's a good shot by Naomi. She's looking to make it into the top left, which will give her shape on the three. I think that might be the only shot she has. What a shot. That's a great shot. Use the eight as a holder. The 10 ball was 225. Yeah, that's what I think it was. 225, 250. I think the snooker was like 250, 300, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what the senior one is. Yeah, it is expensive. But you couldn't play in the uh, women's anyways, buddy. Unless you're a female Cosmo, then I apologize. Oh, she used the whole pocket there. All right, I'll be back in a second, everybody. I got to go and check on my team, see how they're doing. Uh, I'm sure the great guys out there in the... Uh, Chat room will help me out with the scores when I come back if I miss something up. Back in a moment, everybody. Good shot on the seven. She wants to get down there to be able to play. Oh, sorry, that was the six. Be able to play the seven into the top left. It's okay. She can just roll this in. Oh, great shot there by Joan. Should be able to play the eight into the bottom left pocket. Roll down to play the nine in the bottom left. Trying to tie it up at six. Nice shot. We're tied at six. I think we're going to have a barn burner here, especially with this alternate break. Uh, note, this is the Canadian Championships. Americans cannot play. Sorry there, Cosmo. What's the race? Race tonight. Yeah. And they're tied 
six 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 six. I know it is. Well, that's why I changed the camera. Once that match is done, I moved over and started to stream that one. So. Uh, just for all the work you're doing, Jason, you know what, buddy? I don't think I can give you a mint anymore. I think I might just have to buy you a beer now, buddy. Labat Blue. Well, I'll, I'm a, if you go on AZ Billiards, I'll let a... Okay, I'll get you a Coke. Um... My handle on AZ Billiards is Labat Ice Rod. So there. It's come out. That's who it is. Some people know it's me. Some probably don't. But now, now you know. Labat Ice Rod is Rod Babin on AZ Billiards. Hey, I'm originally from Quebec in the Gaspé area. So uh, I was a 50 guy. That's it, Jason. This is a match. They're going neck and neck. Nice shot, Maureen. Oh, sorry, a known name Maureen is playing. It's one of the pool teams I'm on here. Sorry. <laughs> That's a tricky little combo just because the seven is off to the left side of the pocket. Hey, you just don't want to make you just want to make sure you don't hook yourself. Play the safety, smart shot.
Sorry, I had to give a timeout to one of my teammates. Uh, the next match is scheduled for 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The finals are scheduled for 7 p.m. Thank you, sir. Anytime, Joe. Thanks for the drink, my friend. I appreciate it, Joe. You, you donate your time for this? Mm -hmm. That's nice of you to donate your time. Oh, thanks, Joe. <laughs> That's very nice. I appreciate it, my friend. You're very welcome. 16 uh, hours. 16 days. 16 days. Yeah. What, 16 hours a day, maybe mm -hmm. two? No, not that long. Yeah, I don't think it's around uh, that long. Ten hours. Playing. Hold on, sorry, I gotta run away. My team just won a match, so I gotta. I'll be back in a second. All right, I haven't missed the score. I guess I got to give an update for my team. My team is up uh, two to one. We're moving into the fourth match. Good shot there by Naomi. Going to take a seven six lead. That's a good shot. Seven six. We got a match, everybody. He'll be back. Don't cry. He'll be back. Turn the mic up or down. <laughs> yeah, usually, uh, I don't like to turn it off because then people are wondering what's going on. I try to at least leave some sort of noise. I got yelled at once before when I did a stream that I every time I was going away I was turning the mic off. All right. Rack number 14. Joan to break. Down 7-6. Jones got a great break too. What a perfect break. Ah, we're going to see a push shot here. The seven just rolled in the way of the cue ball. It's got no shot on the two. Sorry, Joanne. Uh, I've been having a bad day with names today. Just gonna push the eight onto the three. Oh, 
or even block the pocket. That's a good shot too. It's okay. I love you, Marcy. You know that. Well, there's no reason to give it back. You can play a good hook. You can bring the two back up table. Bring the cue ball onto the nine or the five. I like using a nine as a blocker. I don't like playing those shots. I don't know about you guys. I I guess it's more of because I, I play a lot more snooker, but I like playing the kick. Play it with top right, bring the two, two ball up table, and then put the cue ball, fro freeze it onto the nine. Because this way, if you don't get it perfect, you're going to leave them a bank. And you know how players play today. They can bank really well. You don't want to give players a shot. No, just bank the two up table and roll that cue ball onto the nine. And try to get back onto the nine. Here's another shot. Bring the two ball all the way back up table. Bring the cue ball two rails back down, hook them behind the three or the uh, the five or the nine. Good shot. That's pretty good. 57 viewers online. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Here's Denise. The chump. The champ. No, you're not a chump. <laughs> Marcy says hello. Hi. You'll get it back. Don't worry about that. I'm staying on. I'm, I'm getting better now. I'm just having a hard time with the balls. It's okay. I'll Are that. Are they... All right, Bacon says it's a three-railer. Any other ideas out there? This is your chance to commentate a shot. The three's tough if you're going to try to go to the bottom of the table. Two rails. Oh, nice try. That is that shot. I like the way she went too. I think she just has to hit a little lower. <laughs> I 
Well, that was a letter in some alphabet. I haven't played three cushion since I was a kid, Bacon. My uncle used to have a three cushion table in his basement. That's the first time I ever started playing pool was on one of those tables. I miss it. I know there's uh, Harry Shigaris has one in uh, Times Square Billiards downtown. I don't know of any other place in Toronto that has a three cushion table. And I wish when my uncle passed away, God rest his soul, that I took his table. I wouldn't have room to set it up now, but it'd be nice to have. Oh, Jason makes a comment that even ball in hand is no good here. It is. I'm not sure if there's a foul situation going on here. I'm not sure if Joanne is on any fouls. If she is, here's an opportunity for another one. She's on two. Thanks a lot there, Bacon. It is because, actually, you know, I'm, I can't tell from the angle, but I think there's enough separation on it, too, that she can draw it back off the rail and freeze a cue ball on the eight, just like that. Doesn't want nothing to fall, though. Great shot. Yeah, that was a shot. I just saw at the last moment that there was enough room that the four wouldn't disrupt the eight, that she can just draw back off the rail and freeze it. Hey, I, I can get a shot right once in a while. And a big happy anniversary to my baby Mona. see now if she is on two or not. I think she can get by that three. Ooh, she just missed it. And yep, that was three. Naomi goes on the hill. And that's our first three hook of the day. That's our first three hook foul of the tournament. It is smart shooting. That is the best way to win a nine ball game is by three hooking somebody. That's tough for Joan. Sorry, Joanne. Well, oh, Naomi on the hill. This is B side semifinals. The winner of this scheduled to play Denise Belanger at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And these matches are all being recorded. So at the end of the night, I'm just going to have a bunch of matches on loop. So if you uh, missed any of the matches, hey, they'll be running 24 hours a day until I start back up. Oh, the four ball disappeared. She has a shot on the one. It's not the greatest shot. She might be able to play a bank corner. I see her playing safe. Bring the one ball down by the six and put the cue ball onto the three. Well, she's throwing a lot of left. I think she's trying to cut it. 
Yeah, she went for the cut. I like playing the safe there. You're on the hill. I have no idea, man. That's what I'm trying to find out myself there, Bacon. Uh, who ended up winning last night. I'm sure somebody in the chat will be able to find that out for us. I know Boosty likes those tight pockets, but I don't have a score for you. I don't like that shot. You might hook yourself on the behind the five. I like playing that with rights come down off the top rail to be able to play the two down, but the block does the eight does block the two to the bottom right. Boosty one by six. Cool. All right, Cosmo. Good luck, my friend. Go get him, buddy. Thanks for joining. We're live tomorrow, 11 a.m. It's a good hit. Okay, the, the two does pass the six into the top left. I'm just going by, uh, I actually sneaked in between a few people's legs, crawled on the floor to take a look there. Everyone's blocking me. Shooters is packed. You, every chair is taken. I can only see off of the screen. Like I said, this is bonus coverage of the Canadians. Q Sport Championships 2012, live on Ustream, CPA South, ONT channel. Hit that share button, everybody. I know I say it about 100 times, I'm going to say it 100 more. This is our national championships, everybody. I'd like to give a big shout out to John White for having the Canadians hosted in his place again. Mr. John Moore, what's going on, my friend? Unfortunately, I can't get two mics hooked up. Uh, a little problem with uh, one of our connectors. I'm going to try to get it working on, so during the Canadians, I'm going to be able to bring some of the players in for interviews. I'm sure a lot of you would like to hear from Alex and would like to hear from Johnny and a lot of the other players there. So I'm working to get that fixed for you. Shot on the three, just has to draw back a bit. She has the five into the bottom right. Great shot. Hey, welcome to the stream there, Muchi man. Howdy, sir. Just want to draw it back, play the six into the top right. Ooh. Looks like she wants to play it for the top left. I like just drawing it straight back. 
the race. This is a race to nine, Michi Man. This is a B-side semifinals. This is bonus coverage of the 2012 Canadian Q Sport Championships. First match of the day was Denise Belanger versus Brittany Bryant. The A-side finals, Brittany laid a goose egg, nine nothing on Denise. So she's waiting till seven. Four o'clock is the next scheduled match. Denise Belanger versus the winner of this. This is the B-side semis. We're down to the final four. Women's Open nine ball. I'm your host for this event. My name is Rod Babin. Welcome along, everybody. It's great to see all the familiar faces on the stream. She wants it to roll further, but she's still okay. She can play that seven into the side. I think she has enough. She can just roll into it. John Slingblade, welcome to the stream, my friend. I'm going to try to see what she has. No, it's tough. She is close. If she just rolls it in, she might roll too close to the eight. I think if she can check it with left... Leave herself a more of an angle on the eight. That's I think that's what she's looking at. Just play it with left. Gotta play with high top left. But that's even tough. Because that might straighten out, leave you a bank on the eight. This ain't an easy shot, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I think it's, you know, Mutual Man, same thing. It's top left, but I don't know if it's going to straighten out. It will give her an angle, leave her a longer shot on the 8 to play it into the bottom right. But I think that's all she can do. I don't think she can roll the 7 in. She'll end up getting too straight on the 8. She might even freeze on the 8. This cloth was just put in maybe three days ago. Well, she played the bunt. Hey, that's a great shot by Naomi. Poker pool drawn to the 8. Good call, my friend. Brittany trying to, uh, Naomi trying to close out the match. Set her up in the B-side finals against Denise Belanger. All she has to do is drop back, taking her time, making sure she's got lots of cue, has to use a rest. But as uh, us Canadians know, we're comfortable using these. A lot of us have snooker backgrounds. She kind of overcooked that a bit. But she's okay. This nine ball for a spot in the B side finals. Yeah, that's right. Better go long than short. <laughs> Naomi takes it 9-6 a great tournament Joanne well done plays well played well <laughs> all right everybody that's the end of that match Our next match is scheduled for 4 p.m.
Uh, yeah, I believe 1, 1 p.m. Pacific time. All right, we'll be back at four. <laughs> 